Hey guys, well I'm back out here again. I have a piece of cedar with me that I thought would be a good piece of wood to make our survival bow out of. I'm gonna pull out my knife here and see if I can't scratch out the basic shape and get to work on this thing. All right, right here is the midpoint. This is my center. I'm just going to be removing wood from the belly side. I'm not going to touch the back of the bow. I'm going to leave that alone. I want that to be as strong as possible. Yeah, I'm calling this a survival bow because it's going to be pretty crude. Something I'm just making out here in the field. Chopping time. Alright guys, well, I could probably keep working on this, but I'm at that point where I'm getting nervous if I take off any more wood. Alright, well this is what I have so far. There is a slight twist in the bow that I'm not too crazy about right along here. And as I was thinning the bow down, I did discover a few knots along its side. Those could be potential weak spots, but like I said, this is a survival bow. It's going to be crude, so you uh, traditional archery guys, go easy on me. Alright guys, well my backstop here is this heavy duty construction material that I'd pulled out of the creek a while back. I have it doubled up. Here's where one of my arrows went. I see daylight poking through for the other side, so it went through both layers. There and there. So yeah, I would say that bow definitely has enough power to take out a rabbit or a squirrel. Well, I was using three different tips on my arrows today. 
this broad head obviously ripped through that material pretty easily. Same with this one, it had pretty good penetration. This was the more blunt of the three, so it didn't perform as well, but that was to be expected. I gotta say, for just using a hatchet and a knife, this turned out really well.